Whatever would be a good game for you. Oh, I mean, whatever the game plan is, you know, whatever coach has uh, written up for us, um, I'm going to ex execute each play at a high level. Um, yes, we do have some young receivers, but they do have promising futures, and I can see that early in training camp when they first got here. Um, they have made some big plays throughout this preseason, and they're going to let it all out this weekend and let everyone know what we have coming in. What would you draw as a game plan if you were the planner? If I was the planner? If you were the OC. I mean, obviously me, I'm going to run the ball, you know, me. I, I want to give myself at least, you know, 12 to 15 carries, you know. But uh, whatever happens, happens, you know. At the end of the day, whenever my number is called, I'm going to give it everything I got and play with the best of my abilities to help our team win. Only 12 or 15? I'm surprised. I'm just, just throwing numbers out there, but it doesn't really matter. What I, even if I get the ball once or twice, you know, it does, as long as we win. That's all my main objective is for this year. I want to win. I'm tired of losing, I'm tired of getting the short end of the stick. I want this year to be the year. CFL.ca today, their first power rankings. Mm -hmm. Alouette's ninth out of nine. I didn't even look at it. I didn't even see it yet. And that doesn't mean anything. That's just what people's opinions are. At the end of the day, if you're going to rank anybody, didn't we make it in the Eastern Finals last year? So why are we at the bottom? So at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter to me because we're going to go out there, we're going to play hard, and if they want to come into this nest thinking that it's going to be an easy win, it's not. So they better be ready, everybody that we face. Um, you're not new in the league, but this is a new environment, a new beginning for you. Any kind of jitters this week before uh, the first official game? There always is jitters, and uh, it just comes with the territory of playing professional football against really good football players. Uh, something I've done my whole life, so you, it takes you a couple throws early on, a couple hits early on where you kind of settle in, but there's always going to be that pre-game atmosphere that uh, you get a little bit of butterflies in your stomach just because you care and, and you, you want to do well. You want to do the team well. You want to do your family proud. Um, so there's just a lot of expectations and a lot on the quarterback's shoulders, and to go out there and just try and have some fun. But uh, being in the preseason the second preseason game in front of our home fans uh, in, in an atmosphere like that kind of helped me get my feet wet. Uh, but now, since they're starting to count the wins and losses, it's going to uh, mean a little bit more. So you, you, you were in the preseason, but you didn't you didn't get that much playing time. So how do you feel going into this? You know, you, now you got to hit the ground running. Stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, the tricky thing about preseason is you want to do well so you can get off the field early. But uh, in, a, in a game, it's like if you do well, you got to do well for four quarters. But uh, the good thing about that is if you don't start off very hot, you have four quarters to kind of redeem yourself. And there's a couple drives I wanted back in the preseason game that I didn't get back because I didn't get to finish the game. So um, being able to finish a game helps you kind of with the ebb and flow. There's going to be ups and downs on Saturday night. There's going to be some good. There's going to be some bad with every football game and just how we handle adversity because every team's going to go through it. Um, I think it's going to speak to the character and the players we have on this team. We have a lot of guys who have fought through a lot of adversity and uh, we're really excited just to show our this new product to these fans and uh, the atmosphere is going to be incredible from what I hear. I hear the fans are going to make it loud and, and tough on, on Ottawa to come in here and try and win a game. Oh, okay. Thank you. How, how does the chemistry feel? Yeah. Yeah, we're doing uh, – we're, we're, the training camp was huge for us. We're a little bit young at receiver, and so there's a couple things here or there. But um, the good thing about young and rookie receivers is nobody around the league knows what anything about them, right? So there's not much tape on them, which I like that. I like to keep my hands close to my chest um, because we're going to unleash them here on Saturday, and I think they're going to put a lot of people on notice. So I'm excited about our offense unit, our whole team as a whole, but I can speak more about our offense. I'm excited about our offense unit. We just – as – uh, the training camp went we just continue to get better and better each day and so I'm excited to finally have the opportunity to play against Ottawa in a meaningful game just to be you know humble and not speaking out of pride this is you know what I expect you know the amount of effort that I produce how I play and how I show relent relentless I am and it's just who I am and it's exactly what I expect I do the playback in French, as you could have guessed. Uh, during the game the other day, I said, that guy's going to be great on the against the running game. And then four seconds later, you go and get to the QB. Are you a pass rusher? Yes, I am more known to be a run stopper guy. But as far as pass rush, I'm 
greatly working on that as well. I'm working on that every day as far as my explosiveness, my speed, my pass rush, my pass rush moves. I'm constantly working on that every day. So I'm certainly working towards being called a run stopper and pass rusher as well. Um, I don't know if Sean asked you uh, that question already, but what was your reaction when you found out that you made the roster, you know, that, that, that you made the team? Um, again, just to be, you know, extremely humble and extremely grateful, but out of everything that I've done, all the work that I put in to get here, it, it's what I expected. It's exactly what I expected. So I'm extremely grateful to be here, extremely grateful for the team for this opportunity. All right, Jason, uh, I've noticed that Greg Ellingson wasn't practicing, wasn't here today. What can you tell us about? Yeah, he's just, uh, he's not all the way ready to go this week. So, uh, or this today anyways, so, um, you know, we held him out. And uh, now that the preseason is over, uh, who's your number two quarterback? That's yet to be decided. We decided, to, for me, I'm, I told them both they did well. They both actually graded out very similarly all camp, and in the game they both provided uh, different sparks in both games and just told them both be ready to play at any mo moment. We'll decide based on the situation we're in who we put in, and then from there, it, the, the dependent, the guy who goes next will be dependent on how well they did in the game. Uh, does Brunan handle the short yardage? Yeah, we're going to try to have some packages here and there uh, for all three of them, to be honest with you. So, um, you know, Cody's been a short yardage quarterback his whole career, and I think everyone around the league knows how we generally operate our short yardage with our starting quarterback. It's just having some wrinkles here and there that every team will have to be ready for. Receivers, uh, if we look at the five who are start working on the starting unit, there must be Mayala with 20 starts. I mean, that's maybe 30 starts in between all of them. Yep. How young is that group and how is that experience is going to be tough? Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's definitely an inexperienced group, but we knew that going in. And um, obviously, you know, it is what it is in that regard. They had a whole training camp together. Uh, to get, you know, reps with the quarterbacks that were here, and um, you know, I think they've done a very good job of picking up the offense. So, you know, it's it's up to us as coaches to figure out the plan for them and what they can execute. And I think uh, all throughout camp, you know, we were trying to figure out what they could do, and I think we've got it pretty well tagged. And it's just going to be a matter of them getting their experience as the year goes on. Now, early in camp, uh, we heard about Austin Mack. What separates him from the other? Uh, well, for the position he's occu currently occupying, I mean, it was just consistency from day one. I mean, since he's been here, every day he showed up, uh, fought through everything, and ran Chris Sprouts, knew what he was doing, caught the balls that were headed his way, and uh, consistently was a performer every day. And that's what separated him for that position. And uh, looking forward to, you know, big things um, from him. But obviously, again, the, ex in the experience is not on his side, and he's going to have to gain that as he goes. In the position that he's in right now, you said, is it best because he's going to change position at one point? Well, all of our receivers, um, the more they know the offense, the more we can move them around. So, you know, the the position he currently occupies, we move him from there, you know, all quite a bit anyways. But, you know, we want all of our guys as they gain experience to learn more than one position because, you know, you bring in different people that – that aren't that way, you know, it's easy to slot someone that has experience then in the offense, it can move them around. So, you know, we try to keep certain guys in certain positions, but the more they can learn, the better they are. The other new guy, Abrams, what separated him from Davis or Slade? Or Again, I mean, uh, just a body of work, watching him all through camp, watching him operate, you know, um, you know, he's got a lot of speed as well, which is, is a difference maker, uh, but he was just consistent. The ball didn't always find him throughout preseason but uh, again it wasn't all that for us it was the consistency of every day knowing what you do or how you line up you know the routes you're running you know when the ball does come your way, are you able to make the plays and he was consistently doing that he's rather in tween was like a wrecking ball uh, against Hamilton what can you tell us about him uh, that you, that you love you know that you enjoy yeah I mean that's that's part of it the same thing I mean we talked about it all camp about being available being tough and uh, and effort, ability, toughness, and effort is what we preached all camp. And Israel showed all three of those all every day. <laughs> every day, you know, he showed up on film. 
Um, you know, in our practices, we obviously take care of our quarterbacks. We don't go all out, but in the games, you can. And he certainly showed up in both games. Um, very difficult to, you know, dislodge from the gap that he wants to occupy. And, you know, he fights for it on every single play. And and, and, and that interior spot, you have to be able to do that. So, um, and on top of it, great guy. So, uh, you know, somebody that uh, works hard and, and a good person. And those are good qualities to have here.